Ruby. This is Crossing. Lewis and Clark's historic journey is seen through a brand new pair of eyes. By Donna Jo Nicoli, with illustrations by Jim Madsen. Wolf and Rabbit Hide. I am tucked snug in a cradle pot in the whipping cold of new spring. Roar, roar, grizzly skin tall in my dreams. This is great intro. Honey catches the sail, swing and loop, over we go, Dia and Ape and me, mother and father and babe, splash, shiver, Flick, flick, sound and sparkle in my dreams. Red cedars brush the air, eagles float in clouds and blue of a never ending sun drenched sky, bleaching the cliffs white. Scream, hiss, ubers prowl in my dreams. We slip down the bank of the waterfall. No, not one, five. They cascad power in the broiling heat. Bubble, bubble, elks romp in my dreams. Cool, cool carts haul canoes and supplies over broken land through a hailstorm. We paddle against the current. She'll be a point at Beaverhead Rock in her childhood home at last. Whoop, whoop, men dance, slip, slip, airmines race in my dreams. Up in the shining mountains, we find gifts, beads, and toys, and best of all, a new brother. Click, clop, goats clamor in my dreams. Horses twist through mountain passes, snow everywhere, food so scarce, stomachs so fright, cry, cry, nutcrackers call in my dreams. Out of the mountains at last, we enter fierce lands, but no one is fierce with me. Hush, hush, hands wrap me sweet, warm in my dreams. Fire hollows pine into new canoes to float down river. Screech, screech, owls dive in my dreams. Screech. People on shore hail us down, smiling. Children wave. I grin back. Thump, thump. Mule deer jump. Yelp, yelp. Dogs shiver in my dreams. Dry lands give way to rainforest. Storms roll the waters. We stop for weeks and eat roots. Quack, quack. Tree frogs serenade in my dreams. River again. River, river. Then finally, we build a winter camp on a slope. The old chief speaks Chinook to the prisoner who speaks Shoshone. To Bia, who speaks Hidatsa, to Ape, who speaks French, to his friend, who speaks English. Chop, chop, axes cut logs. Sing, sing, click tongues make friends in my dreams. It rains and rains and rains. Ape and Bia and I go to the sinking lake, the huge Pacific, and peek through the bones of a whale. Swish, swish, toes with sand in my dreams. We try dugouts against the mighty spring current, the current winds. We buy horses and ride. Buzz, buzz, I chase bees 
in my dreams. We wait while snows melt and spring comes, even to these high mountains. Then we cross once more. Snap, snap, monkey flowers smell musky in my dreams. Summer heat tires us. Horses get stolen overnight and no one saw a thing. Clomp, clomp, I ride horses in my dreams. Once on the plains, we build dugouts and ride the river, cross rosy boulders, leap, leap, I climb cliffs in my dreams. One river empties into another and carries us home, where Bea sets me down to run and climb and jump for real. Hooray, hooray, I run free, always and forever in my dreams. Mm. On April 17, April 7th, 1805, Sacra Juia, a woman of the Shoshone tribe, wrapped her baby son, John Baptiste, into a cradle board. The baby then began a long journey on his mother's back with his father at his side. They were helping the pioneers Meriwether Lewis and William Clark find a passage to the West Coast. The journey took them from Fort Mandan, North Dakota, westward into Montana. They traveled in long boats called pirogues. Pirogues? Pirogues? One of the boats flipped over, and important papers fell into the water. They would have been lost, but Sacagawea fished them out. The summer was hot along the Missouri River, but a bigger problem was the five great falls. The travelers had to portage their boats around them. They celebrated Independence Day by dancing late into the night. In August, they arrived in the Bitterroot Mountains and visited the Shoshone tribe. The chief was the Sacagawea brother. They had a wonderful celebration. When they left, the travelers took a small boy with them to be John Baptiste's brother. That fall, they crossed Idaho, traveling on the Clearwater River, then Snake River, and finally the Columbia River, known as the Salmon River. Crossed the mudflats of eastern Washington and into the rainforest of western Washington. As winter set in, they built Fort Clasup at a location known as Astoria, Oregon. Baby John Baptiste finally got to run on the beach free of his cradle pack for a few months. On the journey, John Baptiste saw many wonderful sights, birds flying high, rivers full of fish, and land packed with trees and flowers. He also saw buffaloes, cougars, elk, bears, ermines, mules, deer, and mountain goats. By early spring, they turned around and he headed east again, with John Baptiste backing the cradle board. At first they traveled in dugouts, but then they brought horses and rode through the mountains. In the middle of the summer, a Crow tribe stole their horses, so they had to make new dugouts. They paddled east across Montana on the Yellowstone River until it emptied into the Missouri then they retraced their steps home. By mid-August, 1806, they were back where they started. Crossing by Donna Jo Napoli.